Hannah Wallace and welcome to Sustainable Finance Live, the first in a series of events co-hosted by Finextra Research and Responsible Risk. Joining me now is Jonathan Hughes, co-founder of Pollinate. Hello, Jonathan, thank Hi. you very much for speaking with us today. Thank you. Um, so the first thing I want to do is ask you a bit about Pollinate, but also your role. Uh, so Pollinate is a relatively new business. We're a technology business. Uh, and we work with banks to help them innovate in their payments businesses. So recently we've worked with NatWest to help them set up um, Till by NatWest, which is a new merchant acquiring business. Um, my role um, is um, a mix, someone once described it as the, all the things that no one else wants to do. Uh, so I get strategy, uh, I get operations, I get delivery, uh, I have procurement, uh, supplier management. Um, so someone else gets to be CTO and someone else gets to, to do product and, and kind of I do everything else. All right, and what's brought you to Sustainable Finance Live today then? Um, a big part of what we um, are working with our bank partners to offer is um, information that their customers, you know, their small business customers can use to help them manage their business. Um, as I said, we, we work in the payments business, but a lot of that data, uh, particularly on supply chain, is linked to payments. It's linked to what people buy uh, and what small businesses sell. Um, and we're really excited about the opportunity to help small businesses and their customers make better buying decisions, um, uh, which you know help them help the environment. Um, you know, a lot of consumers nowadays, you know, they want to buy a sustainable product. They want to know that uh, it's come from a, a good supply chain. Uh, they want to make sure that there's no uh, you know, exploitation or slavery or child labour involved in any point in the supply chain. They want to see their carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. And the ability to deliver that kind of insight through our platform you know, to merchants, to small businesses and to their customers, is that's a really exciting opportunity. All right, so what's possible for sustainability if merchants have better insight into their supply chain and ECG footprint? Uh, the, the potential impact is massive. I, I think it's something like 70%, 70, 80, 90% of the carbon footprint for the average consumer and for the average small business is actually in the supply chain. You know, if I'm running a small shop, um, very little of my carbon footprint is encapsulated in my shop in the way that I run that. And there's things I can do, obviously, in terms of green energy, in terms of uh, uh, double glazing, and you know, all the sort of stuff that you can do in your own premises. But the vast majority of the carbon that my business generates is that supply chain. Um, so if we, if we just look at carbon footprint, um, using that data to say, well, this is a product that I want to stock, versus this other product, you know, because the carbon footprint is half, mm -hmm. um, and using that data to encourage people to buy that. This is something that, you know, we can make a major change in, in, um, in people's real behavior. Um, we see it very intrinsically linked with payments, um, because payments are kind of the, the, the breadcrumbs of human behavior. You know, they tell you what's important enough for someone to spend their money on it. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we as a payments business kind of see that you know, there we've got purchasing behavior that links to supply chain data, you know, that links to the, the sustainability agenda. Well, as a business leader, you clearly have an appetite for sustainable finance, but do you think banks have enough of an appetite? The exciting thing about working with banks today is that banks all around the world are really customer focused. You know, there's, and obviously banks have been through an evolution of, of their, their purpose and their role in society over the last uh, decade. Um, but banks today are very much thinking about their customers, their small business customers. How do they help them uh, in their business? This was a big theme uh, for NatWest, obviously, is you know, that, that return to community banking is a hugely important part of their strategy. Um, and so anything that a business can do or the bank can do to help their customers, and, and we know that their customers are incredibly interested in sustainability, you know, that's something that, that we're really finding an appetite for. And what advice would you give to commercial banks looking to make an impact for their clients, consumers, and colleagues? It's all about talking to your customers. Sure. It's all about understanding how you help them. In the world of payments, you know, payments looks very different depending on what industry you, know, you as a bank are serving. Um, so in, uh, you know, if, you're, uh, if you're doing payments for a bakery, 
um, it's quite a different environment to if you're doing uh, payments for a grocery store. Mm -hmm. And if you think about the very different supply chains, their use of raw materials. Um, and so a lot of it is then saying to the, the, the baker, the, the corner shop, how do you want to think about this? What sort of data do you want? Um, and we're seeing that dialogue in an enormous amount nowadays. And finally, today you'll be speaking in a session about supply chain, ECG and merchant acquirers. So can you tell us what will be the main insights you hope to take away from the session and what will be the top themes? A lot of this is about helping people make good decisions. It's about giving them decision grade information. Um, uh, but that's really hard because there's so much data out there. There's so many different conflicting uh, data sources. There's so many different conflicting measures. And it's like going on a diet. You know, do you do you count calories? Do you count grams of fat? Do you use a you know a Weight Watchers point system? Mm -hmm. How do you actually manage that? And so one of the things that we'll be talking a lot about today is what are those simple metrics you can use. Um, that actually then help people make good decisions because you know there's there's an enormous amount of activity there's an enormous amount of thinking and creativity uh, in uh, the sustainable finance agenda and a lot of the folks here but that uh, that um, diversity of thought also creates complexity and confusion for you know if I want to make a decision on what product to buy off the shelf, I want something that's very simple and, and helps me get to that decision. So I, th I think that's one of the key things we'll, we'll talk a lot about today. Well, I better let you get back to the event then. Jonathan, thank you so much for sharing your insights. It's been a thank pleasure. You.